All right, so AI is blowing up. Machine learning stuff is super hot right now. You're so hot right now. So let's uh, show you how we can use one of these libraries to do some audio transcription. This is uh, a library called Whisper. It's by OpenAI, and you can do uh, audio transcription with it. You can also do stuff like translation in that. We're just gonna do a very basic version of uh, transcription in this, just to show you how it all works. Now, we are gonna accomplish this in uh, about five lines of code. That's only five lines? So not a lot of code to do this, but first let's uh, get set up here. So uh, I am over here on their uh, GitHub page here, openai slash whisper. So head over there uh, and check it out. And we are just gonna go down through this and get set up. So let's uh, open up a project here. I just have a uh, blank um, VS code right here and a transcri uh, transcribe rather uh, folder open. So in here, make sure you've got Python installed uh, and then we're gonna have to check and make sure you have a couple other things installed as well. So let's make this a little larger here so we can see. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna come and pip install uh, this library. So you can just come over and copy that and we're just gonna paste that in here. Now I already have this installed, so it should work. Uh, you might need to have, I think I have uh, pip3 here, so it's gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so yeah, I already have that. So once you have that, there's uh, one other thing you're gonna need right here. So come over wherever you're on a Mac or Windows or whatever and use the particular um, method of installation for your operating system. So that'd be, uh, I'm on a Mac, so that's brew for me. Uh, I already have brew installed here, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that, but go ahead and install uh, that if you don't, just like that. All right, so once those two things are installed, that's gonna be basically all you need to do. Now, for us, we're gonna take a look at a couple of these. Um, there's uh, some model sizes here, and that will uh, pertain to the accuracy and, and different stuff, but the larger you go, you're gonna require uh, a lot more resources, so keep that in mind. Uh, some more information if we scroll down on language uh, uh, efficacy and, and that sort of thing. All right, so let's show you how uh, this is actually gonna work. So you're gonna need some sort of audio file. So for me, I wanted to uh, get some uh, podcasts, uh, transcripts. So I came over to this uh, podcast addict right here. All right, so to actually get the audio for this podcast, uh, I just uh, came in and I just searched uh, the podcast I wanted to search for here. So for me, that was Lex Friedman here, you see this. And then you can come in and select uh, the actual uh, episode that you want to download. Uh, that is this uh, episode with the creator of Python that uh, was super interesting. So, uh, so you can come in and you can just see you can download the episode here. Now I did this and I actually... Uh, so you can come in and you can just select this and hit uh, download right here. So I download this and then I've cut the content to just the very beginning of it, just for uh, demonstration purposes, because otherwise this would take forever. I got no time for that. So once you have that downloaded, uh, you can come in and you can actually add it to um, your folder here. All right, so we actually want to add this audio file. So let's drag this onto here. Uh, and I've just cut it down to five minutes for this demonstration right here. But uh, obviously, if you have enough time, you can do a much longer um, uh, podcast to transcribe. Okay, so that is all we need to do. And then we need to add um, another file right here. And we're just gonna call this uh, transcribe.py. And that's the only file we're gonna need in order to uh, do our work in. So this should be good. Uh, let's close this down. And like I said, this is gonna take only about five lines of code, so super quick. So the first thing we wanna do is import that whisper library. So we can just say import whisper like this. And then below this, we wanna load the actual model. So like I said before, you can do a larger model or you can do a smaller model. We'll start with just uh, the base model. So let's go model, and that's gonna be equal to whisper uh, dot load model. See those popping up there. And then we're just gonna pass in here uh, the base model like that. And now we're gonna have the result of uh, what we're transcribing. So let's say result like this, and that's gonna be equal to uh, that model. And we'll just say transcribe like this. And then we're gonna pass in uh, what we're actually uh, want to be transcribed. So we, what was that? Lex underscore one, I think. Let me check. 
uh, lex1-01 uh, .mp3. Then below this, we're gonna wanna create a file to actually write this uh, result to. So we'll say file and we'll say open. And inside of here, uh, we're just gonna call it lexpod.txt uh, like this. And then our second argument here, uh, we're gonna pass in uh, a W here. We're gonna pass in the W right here like that. So what this is gonna do is if there's no file uh, with this name, it'll create it. Uh, otherwise it'll overwrite that, I believe. So we don't have a file that should create it for us. And then all we're gonna do is gonna say file.write like this. And then we'll pass in here the result. And then we're gonna wanna get the text from that like this. Okay, so this is our five lines of code. That's literally all we're gonna do for this. And then all we have to do is run this and hopefully that should transcribe for us. So let's clear this out. And then we're just gonna run uh, Python and then we'll say transcribe.py and run that. You can see uh, this says this uh, FP60 is not supported by a CPU because we're running on CPU and not a GPU. I guess that is going to automatically uh, run on FB32. So that's fine. Uh, without any GPU, this is going to take uh, a little bit longer. So as you can see, this has been transcribed from that audio. Uh, the following is a conversation with Guido Van Rossum, his second time on the podcast, and then it just goes on like this. Now, uh, I have gone through this a little bit. It's pretty dang good right off the bat and this is just with the base model now if we go up to a larger model and stuff it actually uh does get better and i have tried that it just takes forever so i didn't show it here but it does improve uh so if you have some gpus or something i think that is a, a nice little feature so hopefully that gets you started using this whisper library uh, a lot of cool applications i could i could see for this uh turning into a web app or something i think would be pretty nice so anyways, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.